If you have kids at home, your parental patience might be running a little thin. Perhaps it was gone a while ago. So I am an animal behaviorist, and I um, have a background in the development of social behavior, especially in cross-species relationships. Dr. Monique Udell is an associate professor at Oregon State University. Udell doesn't usually study animals like these, but recent OSU research looked at the connection between family members, wild and domestic. So our goal in the current study was to try to understand how dogs viewed their children. And specifically, we were interested in to what extent dogs in a household were matching the behavior of their child's partner. And we did this in a number of ways. Researchers recruited 30 kids from ages 8 to 17, of which 83% had a developmental disability. These videotaped experiments were to see if children would walk in a line, would the dog follow? Would they even walk in the same direction? And would they be in close proximity? And not just because it's pizza night. They're close by their owners in many cases, and they tend to walk in the same direction. But we had never really evaluated this with kids before, and so we were curious whether dogs were sort of matching the children's behavior in the same way that we had seen with adults. The study found there was active synchrony 60% of the time. In other words, child and dog were moving or still at the same time. They were within one meter of each other 27% of the time, and they were going in the same direction 33% of the time. So why does it matter? Dogs are attending to what children are doing, even sometimes at a very young age, and that the children are engaging with the dogs in ways that, that really show that they could be um, more engaged in training and caretaking. Okay, so you might not have a dog, you might not have kids, but going the same direction or not, there's always work to be done, and there's always a benefit to every relationship. We bring these animals into our household because we want that affiliation and we want those benefits. And I think for a lot of people, that is the outcome. So they get an animal, they have this additional bond, and it can lead to these um, stress-reducing benefits or activity level. Maybe you're going to walk the dog more or play with the dog more. So it can be a really great thing. John Goodwin, KGW News.